here in the kitchen today with Stephen Lee from McAllister's Deli, and he's finally going to give us the secret of how they make those baked potatoes so delicious with this do-it-yourself baked potato bar. So we have our potatoes, and they're cooked, which they're, you know, they're baked, they're hot, so be yep. careful. Uh, you know, I just thought with the Super Bowl coming up, a fun idea for Super Bowl when you're when you're serving a big party mm -hmm. uh, is a is a spud bar. Um, people can be creative, can have kind of have fun with it. And who and, doesn't love a potato? And who doesn't love a baked potato? <laughs> and hey, it looks kind of like a football if you're if you're creative enough. Okay. Um, but one of the most common questions that we get in the restaurant is how do we get our potatoes so big? So, so big. I'm letting so you, you, I'll, I'll, you I'm not supposed to so tell big. you this. I'm telling you some inside, inside information, <laughs> okay. but um, it's actually two potatoes, and I'm going to show you oh. how to make it look oh. like one. So okay. let you on, in on the I don't know how involved you want to get, but okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. You cut off the ends I'm of each potato. I'm going to follow you. And just set those off to the side. And cut so off the, the end of the, uh, no, not right there. Right oh, the other potato. Oh, the other That's potato. That's all right, though. That's all right. So you have one end cut off of each potato. See, I already messed up. That's all there right. we go. That's all right. We can recover from that. <laughs> then you cut the entire length of potato as if it was one potato. You put both cut ends together. So it's really two potatoes. It's really Who two potatoes. Knew this whole time. And then you you push down, and that's where some skill and years and years of talent have uh, okay. afforded me well. Yeah, you, yours calluses. looks much better. And than then mine. you just take your knife, or you can use a fork or whatever it may be, just to cut that up. Mm-hmm. And then what we do, and what you, you can do at home, you can do this ahead of time. You can do this within a couple hours ahead of time mm -hmm. um, so that you're not mad dashing and you don't expect your guests to do that. Um, and then you would just wrap them in aluminum foil. And so you those can, are ready to go. These are ready to go. These are cut and, and fluffed, we, what we call fluffed, mm -hmm. which is a, that just uh, tearing it up there. And they're ready to go. And so the guests can just come and take that, and then you have their, your toppings and let them make their own spud. So I'm at this point, I want to put it back in the foil and I want to put it back in the oven. Just keep it on warm? Exactly, just on warm, whatever the lowest setting of your oven is. If you have a warmer, great, use that. Um, and they will hold just with the aluminum foil for, for quite some time by themselves. And this is the best part right here. And this is the best part. And these are just <laughs> these are just some recommendations that we use in the restaurant, but people can be very creative mm -hmm. and use what you can go all out and, and use whatever toppings you like. And your favorite combination? My favorite combination is just chili um, and and what it just is just cheddar and, and Monterey Jack cheese blend with some with some jalapenos. Mm. Um, but we can have fun with it. What one yeah. of the thing what we have here is Spud Max, and that's just a little bit of ham. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll do this. This is a uh, Black Forest smoked ham. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, hickory smoked turkey. And it looks like we have some chives and also some. Uh, olives on there as well and then of right. course you can stick it back in the oven and melt that cheese. Exactly. You can stick it in the microwave or stick it in the broil for just a short time and it'll melt the cheese and you're good to go. Thank you so, so much for joining yeah. us. If you want to find out this recipe you can do so by going to kltv.com.